Low once again. A bit more progress on the 125. So as you can see, the swing arm is back in place. This isn't tightened up yet because I need to get the brake pedal fitted, various springs sorted out before I put on the um, pillion foot peg holder which covers all of this, but it's in place anyway. Um, the shocks left and right are both cleaned up and back on, so that's fine. Um, what I've also done while I've been in the area, I've removed the saddle. Now that comes from just removing um, side panels and then simply two 10mm bolts, one on the right, one on the left. The saddle then lifts off backwards. The next stage was to slack off the tank because what I wanted to do was remove a breather hose. Now the new exhaust that I've got um, doesn't have a breather hose. The original exhaust had a breather hose which comes from the top of the airbox through a one-way valve. I think it's that way around. And fits into the top of the exhaust just to the front of the silencer. Um, I think the idea is that that then introduces more clean air into the, the exhaust system and can help with emissions testing. Um, thinking about it logically, I don't think it actually reduces the emissions, it just dilutes them slightly for a for a testing sample. So in theory the, the same emissions are still coming out from the cylinder, so I'm not quite sure what that's actually benefiting. Either way, the replacement exhaust system I got doesn't have that um, that connector for the breather pipe. So I had to remove that, which is this here. Comes from the top of the, the air box. So what I've done, lifting the tank up, it connects here, there's a, I suspect that's a, a non-return valve of some sort, it's not powered in any way, so it's not an impeller or anything, so it's probably a filter or a one-way valve. Then the pipe would go down. So what I've done is I've disconnected the pipes all the way back to just shy of the airbox and literally just doubled over that last bit of pipe, pinched it tight, fastened it with a cable tie and with the, the hose clamp. So that's basically just stopped off that, so um, no air will pass in or out from that particular entry into the airbox. That's now neat and what happens is when the tank goes back on, that will then sit behind the side panel um, and not be visible. So that, that should be fine there, um, keeps it a relatively neat, neat job. I think while I've got the tank loosened, um, I can also clean up the throttle bodies and that sort of thing as well at some point. Incidentally, the tank itself, it shifts fairly easily. So once the saddle is removed, you just have one single bolt here at the back of the tank, undo that, and you can then lift the tank up. Now the tank is connected to various things. I haven't really gone into that because I don't need to remove the tank. Um, but there will be a, I imagine a fuel pump and obviously a fuel hose and to carry fuel down to the throttle body here. So if you wanted to remove the tank completely, it normally slides backwards off of a couple of pegs at the front, round about here, round about the headstock. Um, you would also need to disconnect um, a fuel pump electrical connection and the fuel hose as well, I would imagine. But we're not going to worry about that because that's not the intention. So there we go, still to be done. Um, I need to align the, the rear wheel properly, um, get the chain adjusters adjusted correctly, tighten up the, the wheel nuts and that's that finished. Um, I want to make sure I get that nicely aligned. 
I don't trust the, the markers on the swing arm. Um, I do have an alignment tool which sights along the chain itself, so I'll use that and get a decent alignment there. Um, once that's done, next thing is to fit the, the brake pedal, um, attach the various springs, for example, onto the, the centre stand itself, so I'll get the bike back onto its side stand at that stage. Um, and then get the pillion footrest holder back in place, get that fastened up, and that then will be the back end of the bike pretty much all back together. Um, and we can then look at the next stage of the project after that.